And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shen Vi. Gonna bring this deck back. Played it about a week ago and it was a lot of fun. I titled the video of it, my new favorite deck, because yeah, I really enjoyed playing it. And so we're gonna be bringing it back here on our first deck for our Rank Up Weekend. We're gonna be playing uh, today and tomorrow, we're gonna be seeing if we can get out of Diamond. We are currently three wins into Diamond out of the 20 that you need <laughs> to get out to get to Masters. So we'd have to win 17 more games than we lose, because remember, each loss puts you down one. Um, so we have to net 17 wins this weekend in two days. That's probably not going to happen, but we're going to be trying. We're going to try our best, and so we're going to be starting. Uh, we're going to be playing four very good decks today, starting with Shen Vi. So hopefully we get some luck. Uh, but yeah, you know, like we have um, Vi as a challenger, Shen able to support Vi, give Vi, Vi barrier. Very powerful combination. We have a whole bunch of Ionia spells that are all pretty well positioned. Um, they kind of support those two. And then we have some cheap, very good threats with Glean Gate. Glean? Hmm. Nope. Green. <laughs> green Glade. <laughs> I tried saying Glean Grade or something. <laughs> green Glade Caretaker. Uh, they can grow to be um, a really big threat with a lot of power. And then Kempunk Pickpocket, which, you know, if they're not blocking and if you're attacking with this and it, it next, you know, strikes the Nexus, you're going to be creating more spells, which is pretty awesome. And so Kempunk Pickpocket is really good with Shen, because then you can you can give the Pickpocket the barrier, and they don't want to block a Pickpocket with a barrier, but then they will kind of have to, otherwise you'll get free spells. So let's see how it goes. Let's see if we can do well. Yeah, Diamond 4. Yuck. Let's get back at it. <laughs> yeah, 19-1 today. Yeah, well, I guess we'll have to go 19-1 today if we want to get it done today. <laughs> 20 games. That's not too easy. But nothing great is ever easy. And it would be fun if it was easy. Alright, let's see how we do. So, Gangplank Elise, I would think would be... An aggressive deck. Mm. It's like I want to play pickpocket. I guess I will. But I also want to have the key guardian to protect pickpocket. This could be kind of like like spooky karma that was like Elise karma, but then it's Elise um, gangplank. Like it could be that kind of deck. Uh, hmm. You cannot escape. Not about casting Will of Ionia decided against it, but I was considering it. Seeing that if we would play Will of Ionia, then the Elise quickly loses value as in the later parts of the game as a 2-3. Really where Elise is good is at this part of the game. Cursed Keepers, huh? It's not a bad draw. Understood. Um. Let's draw a card. So I'll probably go Key Guardian on the green. Hmm. That's pretty cool. It's a neat party trick. I do. I am a big fan of Mystifying Magician. That is a pretty cool. Um, Come, take refuge. 
That is a pretty cool uh, little thing it can do. So six mana. I don't know how worried of ruination I need to be. Maybe a little bit, maybe not at all. So like my best play is probably like stun this thing and make a 3-2. Right, to be able to attack for even more. Um they cannot hide. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and just go straight to attacks and just kind of see what they want to do. I could go for lethal with the stand united and Right? Yeah. Yeah, it would be going for lethal. Um, and they would have to have... They would have to have vengeance, right? Like, is, I think that would basically be about it, or... I don't know. Let's just do it. We walk between realms. Let's just do it. The balance has been maintained. Give all these things barriers. Everything as it should be. One zero. -oh. All right, sixteen left. <laughs> it has begun. Ooh, tough matchup. Noxus deck is quite good. Don't like all of my cards costing four mana. I guess it's kind of like one costing six. Um, I mean, I, Concussive Palm's a good card in this matchup. Maybe, I mean, Concussive Palm I could play on turn three. I have this thing for lifesteal, which could be important. Hmm. Okay, I like that better. It's not like... You know, it's not like that. those cards were too bad or anything. What you looking for? Looks like the opponent has quite an expensive hand as well. Harvey, what are you doing? What are you doing? My dog is just clawing the carpet. Oh, what do we get? She's sharpening her claws or what. Whatever dogs do. She's doing that. Um, yep, yeah, pass. Yeah, maybe it's just like a bunch of harrowings and a whole bunch of like four mana six fours and Dariuses and stuff like that. I wouldn't be thrilled. damage, go down to 16. I guess maybe they have like transfusions and auction fervors and things like that. I suppose I do need to be a little worried about transfusion. Yeah, I want to Mystic Shot that. Ugh. I guess they do have transfusion. I could have one mana thermogenic beam. Noxion, you know, I wouldn't really want Noxion Fervor either. I don't really want to use the Thermogenic Beam on the Draven. 
Like, Draven doesn't, you know, doesn't really trade with my pickpocket. I kind of want, like, I want to save Thermal Giant Beam for, like, Darius. That's super scary. Smells like opportunity. Hey, buddy, what you doing? And I am worried about more six fours. If I would have gone, if I would have played Shen pre-combat and they played a six four, um, that would have been a little rough. Mm, all right. So next turn, so we will have six mana. Retreat looks kind of unnecessary. Not looking too good. I would love to pass and then they do something and then I go Spirit's Refuge. But it's just not super likely that they'll do anything. I mean, they probably do these spinning axes, right? I mean, maybe they just want me to be at 8 and they'll just let me be at 8. I guess I'm going to bounce this 3-1. So I want them to spinning axe the 4-3. Four, the four, yeah, just basically eat up both those spinning axes. To my father's blade. Coming in hot. Hey, potato. All of our spells. I find them unworthy. It's kind of rough. No units anywhere. That doesn't scare me. Balance favors you. Noxus lives on. Nothing but Noxian might. Hmm. Only, so it's two barriers for Shen. Yay, unit. So we need two more. My axe is ready. Um. that just been like harrowing that I denied. Uh, if I play, if I play Thermal Jenny Beam, I go down to two. If I don't play Thermal Jenny Beam, I lose. Yeah. If I don't play Thermogenic Beam, I take Lethal. Alright, well now we're dead. 
just need I needed another unit. It's too many too many times I'm not having that unit. I mean, I guess you know, looking back at it, uh, I mean, I guess I can block here and go to two, but that that's not me winning. That's them having all those things and not me winning. All right, so retreat looks looked really bad. The yeah, retreat looked just completely unnecessary. Um, it's better against removal decks. Uh, I guess I need to like not trade away the pickpocket and just. I guess I need to play that Shen that turn four where I traded pickpocket for Draven because I just didn't have another unit ever. I really needed another one. Obviously, this is all hindsight. Um, and uh, I would have loved to have you since I had all three of my spirits refuges. Why couldn't I have you, Vi? Um, and then yeah, you know the thermogenic beam. If I would have used it on like the you know the one mana two one a little earlier, that could have helped as well. Like, if I would have played that turn, they just unloaded a whole bunch of low drops in the same turn. That could have helped for how the game played out. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. Yeah, I decided to save Will against the Looses because they do so much um, pumping. Right? Like, they, they can, like, really buff, especially, like, Jewel Protector and things like that. And so, um, I was thinking that I wanted Will to be able to bounce some, some Elusive that was buffed up a whole lot. That was my thinking. falls to me. Hey, Mortimer, we just played against you. GG's. Yeah, good game there. So I go. Looking for this. So with seven mana, we can only play one thing. So I play Vi, we take four. I suppose. Night falls. Closing in on the mark. What? Okay. <laughs> Replace retreat with static shock. While that would help, I don't, no, 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 I don't, not that big in a static shock. We have a lot of four mana cards. That's like the card, that's like this, like Ionia has lots of four mana cards. I, I'm just not, not interested in playing another four mana card. So I'm not really interested cards. in static shock. I think we need another unit instead of retreat. Right? Like, we just, we had no units last game. And I think that's, and you kind of see here, like, we we do struggle with different, with having enough units. Um, it must be done. So, okay, so basically what I was thinking, like, obviously it'd be nice to have Caretaker in before this, so it gets the pump. But... Um... I wanted to have the, the two four mana spells available. Maybe that's unnecessary. Maybe I didn't need two four mana spells available. Mm, I'm not really that big a fan of Eye of the Dragon. Stay but safe. I'll take it from here. I don't necessarily have a better suggestion off the top of my head. Keeper, our lands need I have to look. 
I should have just played the, the Caretaker pre-combat. I didn't need both of those available. Bleh. So they want to play... So usually you want to play stuff pre-combat with Green Glade Caretaker to be able to give it a plus one plus zero, but they are all the way filled. No, I don't think Claw and Eye of the Dragons serve the same purpose, no. Come Not on. at all. Eye of the Dragon rewards you for playing a bunch of spells by then generating those those draglings that can be in combat for one turn. Claws of the Dragon is something that actually gets into combat and trades with other things and is actually a card you can play against Crimson Disciple and a lot of the format, unlike Eye of the Dragon. Eye the Dragon's a 1-3 that's pretty useless. Except for if you have a lot of cheap spells and you can play two spells a turn reliably. <laughs> well, we found all of our Vi's. Would have loved to have Vi last, last game. about um yep what's up papa i'm worried about uh like i don't want to do like the shen stand united because I'm, I'm worried about like i don't know fury the north and stuff like that and so i wanted to have like the, that concussive concussive palm around as well we don't want any trouble Am I letting this Shen die? I sense an imbalance. This. So I can play the Stand Don't United to level up Shen, or I can just let Shen die and just play a new Shen. But then the new Shen will be forever away from leveling up. Um, I'm going to do this and level up Vi. We're going to do that. And... What do I want to do with Shen? I think I'll play new Shen. Love to draw Spirit's Refuge, you know, it's probably my best card to draw. Like, Spirit's Refuge for plus Vi is a, you know, it's just a wonderful combo, and it's definitely one of the the backbones of our deck. I should be playing Claws of the Dragon, by the way, right? Like, let's see, so 9, 10, 11. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I'll keep this spell mana. It's definitely backbone of our deck. So, like, last game we drew all three Spirits Refuge. This game we drew all three Vi's. Yay! I was going to say, never together. That doesn't make things easy. What are they doing? Tell it 
to the fists. Okay, let's see. So we're going to stun that bounce that spirits refuge. This. My father's blade. Understood. It's all risky. Wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely meant to be stunning the 4-3. Whoops. I don't- I don't know why- I, that's just, that was just a complete brain fart. I don't know- I don't know why I did that over the 3-2. I- Yeah, I definitely meant to do the 4-3. I was even thinking right there that I was taking one, that I was taking seven. I guess it's because... Yeah, that's just a brain fart right there. I guess because... Alright, so in my mind, I'm thinking... I was thinking about the three two is the thing that has to strike me. Because I need... You know, I need to only take three there and then like a seven total. Um, and so, I, you know, I was thinking a lot about like the three two is the thing that strikes me. And I just clicked the three two then to stun. Yeah, I don't... Oh, that was not, not great. So them having the bounce spell though, we were um, we we're still gonna be in a lot of trouble. Uh, hmm. Even if with them having that bounce spell, even if I would have done the correct thing, we would have been at one, and I don't really know how we went from there. Yeah, I don't know what's... Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Wasn't that great? Yeah, potato. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing anything different with that. I'm gonna be doing the normal play five games, go to the next, and so on. No place for the kind. I'll bring them peace. I was planning on doing it the other way around, of Mystic shotting the Lucian and then and letting the the Senna turn into a five three, and then Thermogenic Beam the Senna. That was my plan. Um, you know, suppose that we're just doing kind of the same thing, except for with. Except for with the Lucian now being leveled up, if they have another Lucian. Mm. What's up, Biz? I'm doing good. How are you doing?
interesting. One, two, three, four. Hmm. These woods protect their own. I've got your back. Eh. That make that makes things worse. They cannot hide. That makes things I worse. I play my part. What do you think is the best Lucian deck? Um, probably Lucian Zed. Probably. I think that would be my pick for the best Lucian deck. That messes up my plans. Like, my plan, I was going to Key Guardian the Claws of the Dragon and get the surprise barrier blocker and, uh, you know, then return the pickpocket into play also. But now with this 5-4 challenging, in order to protect Vi, I probably have to play Stand United this turn. It's not exactly what I wanted to do. Eat up, friend. That's what I wanted to, you know. Don't always get what you want. Um, we're going to have the pickpocket and the war chef's trade. And then we'll kill these two. Stand united. I'll just let the three one hit me. So, kill the three one. Uh, let's get to the fun part. Oh, okay. So yeah, I was gonna. Okay, so basically, I was gonna be able to go straight to attackers, then right after that, and have my my Vi was leveled up. My Vi, my leveled up Vi, would have been able to challenge the Grizzled Ranger. I was gonna not. I was not going to block. By the way, um, my leveled up Vi would would challenge the uh, the Grizzled Ranger, do five damage to them, and then my other attackers would have been lethal. Um, and then, yeah, also, also with over Overwhelm, I also like, yeah, Vlad Vladimir Lucian. I have a cool Vladimir Lucian deck. Um, that's pretty cool also. Vladimir Aggro. It's, it's pretty nice. Uh, here's the Vladimir Aggro. I haven't really played the Lucian Z deck in a while. Uh, I've played against it a decent amount over the last couple of weeks, but uh, I don't have a, a specific list for that to give you. What's up, Aquila Bots? Doing good. Doing good. Thanks for joining. 
All right, we're going to keep the curve. See how it does. Um, this is a, a hand that I'd probably rather be attacking on the evens, attacking when I play pickpocket on two and attacking when I play Shen on four than on the odds. And looks a lot better this time. We actually have, you know, we have a lot more units. I'm a big fan of that. Smells like opportunity. Let's see what you can do. Look what you save me, Luke. Gotta love being able to trade with Crimson Disciple and not take any damage. That is not something that happens that often. But maybe I was that's what I was you know, I was kinda concerned with that. Maybe I should have just gone Key Guardian, my other pickpocket I guess I didn't really adjust for having Key Guardian in hand. Oh, I like a little bit of a cough today. Maybe I should have played Key Guardian on the pickpocket, and then I would have had the pickpocket to attack also. Combo. That was rough. That was really rough. Take from the reach, give to me. I, I really wish I would have played turn three differently. I really wish I would have played Key Guardian, Pickpocket. Well, no I feel really bad about that turn three. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Glad that wasn't Culling Strike. I was scared of Culling Strike. Oh, well. So much for that. Oh, I wish I could just go back and play this game over and just replay that turn three. Brom's pretty good. Brom. Nothing wrong with Brom. The dark beckons. So now they have something large in hand. Night falls. They draw Leviathan, I guess. Do I need a thermogenic beam Leviathan? Come on. Oh, I'm tilted. I really wish I could just replay this game. I don't know if we'd end up winning, but it would 
Could have been in a much, much better spot. I don't see any way I win this. Against leveled up Rami and Leviathan. You insist on fighting when you could step aside. You cannot tell the wind to change direction. I don't I don't see what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, Braum wasn't going to counter the deck, but then they had they had a super super efficient answer to my Vi. Vi was, you know, Vi was going to eat their Braum. They had Ice Veil Archer plus Culling Strike. Like I haven't seen a Braum Swain deck play Ice Veil Archer before, but it was just the most perfect it could be. So I don't know. Your breath away. These woods protect their own. For the Empire. I just, yeah, like, just turn three. Man, I, I would love to just go b back and play this game over again. I honestly think I, there's a chance I could have won this game. And, which sounds weird because of how we're behind by miles, but I honestly think there's a chance I could have won this game if I would just, like, turn three to Because then it would have just changed the course of everything. Leviathan's got to be the most important card to kill, right? Oh, it's only seven.
I got the goods. Hey, thank you so much, Potato. Gifting out a sub, paying forward a, a, a gift sub you got before. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Aquilabot. That's our second sub of the day. Yeah, okay. Making sure that I didn't miss one. Just a little bit ago. Yeah, second sub of the day. That is very awesome. Thank you so much. Scene. Time for talking to Show me your best. Clear it out. Bounce Brom, and we will we'll block and. Block. Stop on me. Yeah, I know they drew another Leviathan. I know I can't beat that either. We're we're trying though. My my way I can win this is if we draw Stand United. That's my way of winning this game, is Stand United. I'm keeping Spirit's Refuge to be able to, like, I need these things alive, so if they have, like, removal for these things, like, you know, like, the deal two, deal one. I need, I need Stand United, not Shen. Because Stand United, I can, you know, I can attack with both, have the, the Shadow Assassin not be blocked. I can flip these and, you know, try to kill him with Caretaker. So that was, Stand United was my out. But that out is not available anymore. Now, yeah, now it's too late, like with the Leviathan. I've, I've needed it one of the last couple of turns, of, you know, one of our last few draws. We had it the one time. Which pumped up the Green Glade Caretaker to be this big, and then I needed it one more time. And there, there's just two in the deck, so it's not that likely that I would draw the other one, but that's what I needed. I will play my part. I find them unworthy. They really put that on the wrong thing, didn't they? It's a fight they want. Feel like it. No, yo. Alright, so if I gain 11 life, everything, like, Leviathan's gonna do 3 to me and stun everything. So that's 3, 12, 14, 16. Me gaining 11 life puts me at 16. So, still lethal. My oh well. Best I can do. Destination in sight. Bring these lands to their artillery barrage. Search little lives. Hmm. That's 16. I 
really wish I could have redone that turn three and just play that whole game over. Yeah, but that that was definitely the that was definitely the turning point. That's where my opponent won the game was having Ice Veil Archer plus Culling Strike, having that combo for the Vi. If they don't have that combo, you know, if they have one of those two cards and they don't have the other, you know, that Vi is going to take over. Um, so yeah, they, they had that combo. Oh well, um, yeah, it did seem like, it did seem like we could use two more threats instead of the two retreats. You know, we're, you know, it says 1822, but then remember the concussive palms can make a couple of things also, so it's kind of like 2020, um, but the... What kind of threats could we have? Not sure what I want to play. Like Yone, Swiftfoot. Kind of want just like a couple of real big heavy hitters. Like I don't think I need more two drops, like one drops. Like I think we're okay on like this early stuff. I, I don't think we need to just play something like that. I think we need some really impactful cards. Maybe it's Jewel Protector. Maybe Jewel Protector pumping up, you know, Shen, Vi, pumping up something else, pumping up Shadow Assassin. Let me play two Jewel Protector. I don't think it's Shadow Blade. Even though that's not really a bad card with Shen. Like, Augmented Experimenter. Do we do that? Could give us like a little bit of removal. And everything. We don't we don't empty our hand super fast with having, you know, 13 cards that cost four mana. We don't empty our hand super fast. No, I don't I don't want horns of the dragon. They just block it with a one one. Um You know, could be something like this with like Yone, Swiftfoot, Karina Veraza. I don't know, True Shot Barrage. A lot of these are like, you know, sixes or sevens out of ten, but there's nothing that's like, you know, nine out of ten or a ten out of ten that I that I just love. I didn't really like the two retreats. I think I want to replace those. Just not sure what, with what. I wish we had a rekindler. Really wish we had rekindler. <laughs> that's that's all. That's probably the card I'd want to play the most is rekindler. Um, I don't know, maybe Yone. Maybe just kind of go like one and one, maybe play like one Swift Foot, one Yone. Just as some things that completely, that can completely turn the game around. Maybe it's a third Stand United. And something a little cheaper. Like Jewel Protector. Yeah, I mean, Stand United's usually good. I don't know. Hey, Herman. Yeah, Jewel Protector's not bad. I do like Jewel Protector. It could be that. Yeah, usually we get the extra stand united with like the Shen Champion spell also. So that's why I don't have three because um you know there's a lot of times we'll have extra ones with the Shen Champion spell. Um 
Yeah, there's just nothing else here that I just love. So sure, couple jewel protector that would make spirits refuge better. That you know again makes like shadow assassin, Vi, those things even better. I mean Chen even, even better. Like pickpocket, being a six five, that would be kind of cool. Could maybe have a surprise six five claws of the dragon, with that. Yeah, I'll just go to couple jewel protector. That sounds good. That sounds good. Okay, well, a little bit disappointing start, but, I mean, it's kind of on me also. I, I made um, two of those losses. I made a poor play in each of the games. They're both going to be tough games to win, but, you know, that's still that's still my bad. You know, we gotta got to clean it up some. Yeah, got to start playing better. All right, we're going to be moving on to our next deck. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching some Shen Vi, and I'll see you for the next video.